So I'm driving back on my ATV from doing some tree work on the property, and I'm thinking about the black bear my neighbor reported to be causing trouble in the neighborhood. Then I see this silhouette of what appears to be a black bear cub hanging upside down from a tree limb. I stopped the ATV, dismounted, and took this photo. This wasn't a bear cub at all, but in the twilight of dusk I noticed it was a very large bee swarm. Being a beekeeper, this meant one thing to me, free bees. Remember it was dusk and it was too dark to do much with this now, so I needed to sleep on it and tackle the project first thing in the morning. I set out at sunrise, which was about 6 a.m. I improvised a step ladder and I screwed a large square piece of plywood to the top of the ladder, which served as a platform. On top of that, I rested a large Tupperware tub and underneath the ladder, I laid out a plastic tarp. The goal here is to shake the bees such they fall off the limb and into the tub. Then when you're ready, you give it the old one, two, three, and shake it like your favorite martini. Here I use a bee brush to brush off the remainder of the bees off the limb. Now dropping bees onto a plastic tub is a lot like trying to get a ping pong ball from a three-story building to fall into a bucket. I'm not a very good shot and because of that a lot of bees ended up on the tarp. You might wonder how many times did I get stung in this process. The answer is zero. The bees that took flight have a tendency to go back to the tree limb. I made a total of four trips to the apiary with this swarm and I'd estimate it weighed about nine pounds in total.